when you bring up disproportionate amount of black crime, a lot of the answers are, well, you know, uh, black people end up as criminals because it's a racist society. Really? So words justify criminal actions. So if we take that, that negative experience of being dissed or, or whatever, having negative words thrown at you or having negative experience of people, if that justifies violence, then men should be able to beat the hell out of their nagging wives. Because you see, the men are constantly being put down, being dissed, being nagged, being told that they're nothing, they're worthless, they're crap, they're lazy, they're this, so boom, knock some teeth out. Now, we can't be having that. <laughs> we can't be having that the response to a negative emotional experience, that somehow that can be violence and it's like, okay, that's fine, you know, because, you know, it's a negative emotional experience. So even if there was all this racism and... I don't think there is, but you know, even if there was, the, 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 that doesn't justify the violence. It does not justify the violence. And the law is very clear on that. Verbal provocations do not justify violence as far as I understand it. Yeah. And so there the, the simply can't be a solution called, well, once everyone stops being racist, then blacks will stop committing so many crimes. Like that cannot be the answer, because you're asking people to let down their guard when there's a lot of crimes being committed by a certain community. Yeah. I, th th but that's what abusive, you know, well, you, like abusive husbands is, well, if you loved me more, I wouldn't hit you. <laughs> well, the fact that you're hitting me doesn't make me love you. Man. <laughs> Again, these are just thoughts off the top of my head. I don't know what the real solution is other than we can't have the state involved in the solution because that's going to be catastrophic all around.